Stand by for action. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day three of four. All right, boys and girls, that's about going there. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Borodar, Shamai, and all that balaki. <laughs> yeah, day three of four, the alternative Trous Cambrian Erie, my birthday ride, and it's the 3rd of April, and this is my last ever day as a 50 odd year old bloke because it's the big day tomorrow. Right, so as you can see, I'm fully suited and booted. I've got my Peter Storm leggings on. I'm not going poncho anymore, I'm doing these uh, cheapy jackets which are better because you don't get all the flappage. Uh, we had a bit of heavy drizzle this morning and it's kind of eased off a bit now to light drizzle and I reckon all this stuff will be coming off soon because it is set to brighten up and I am feeling a bit warm all, with all this plastic rubber Saturday night Joy Boy gear on. <laughs> yeah, had a nice stop at the, uh, the Dolgoch Falls Hotel, Nigel and his wife, really nice. And we've just set off, as you just see in a minute, leaving the hotel. Oh, we've just come through Abagnolwyn. We've just come down that steepy, not steepy, but that boggy, boggy stroke rocky, but off Cambry slippery. Right, and now we're here at this bridge. Now, when you, or if, you come to do the, uh, <gasps> ooh, arse, pardon me, if you come to do the Trous Eriri, that bit, which we've just come down from Abagnolwyn, that is part of the route. You get to this point here, now the, uh, the Cycling UK route, or whatever it is, it takes you road all the way to Lang Langrin, Langrin, and it's road all the way past Birds Rock, all the way to Langrin, up a bit of a tarmac track, and then you start dropping down into Barmouth. Now we're not going to do that, we're going to follow this road to a place called Standing Stone, <laughs> junction there, but then we're going to turn left, follow the road, it goes to a dead end, and then we start heading up up into the, uh, the mountains and then we'll pick up the original uh, Trouser Erie where you drop down into Barmouth. Right then, let's get on. Right then folks, we're fully suited and booted and we're leaving the Dolgoch Falls Hotel on day three of day four of my birthday alternative Trous Cambrian Erie adventure. Like I say, I'm fully suited and booted because it was heavy drizzle when I woke up this morning and typically you just get suited and it's bloody it's kind of stopped to mist so I reckon by the time I get to Abergenolwyn all this kit will be off so there's the Dolgoch Falls Hotel we're off back down the valley and then we're going to chuck a left and head up into the wilderness I managed to fix the uh, well not fix but managed to sort out the uh, the gear issue it was a little piece of twig and a rock stuck in one of the jockey wheels on the derailleur but weirdly it only affected the uh, the operation in the uh, in the lower gears which was strange so but it's all good now right i'm acknowledging now and i think we take this first left just up here andy boy or is it this one uh, it's the one in the houses, I remember seeing it on the videos. Oh, bloody splashed by the lorry. Oh, God, right in my face. Right, it's this one down by the playing field. Yeah, I remember Mr. Guy Kesterman. My name's Guy Kesterman. He come down here. That's it, over the footbridge, a little bit of footpath. And then... Uh, we're on the bridle way. Right, we're over the bridge. And the bridle way should be around here, Andy boy. Right, there it is. So this is a bridleway. Oh, slippy. Follows the river. 
heading off toward, towards, is it uh, Bird's Rock? Bird's Nest Rock? Anyway. Slippy off camber. I'll stick to the grassy bit. Get more grip. This bit we're on now, this is part of the uh, Trouser Erie actual ride. So we take a detour when we get to the end of this bit. Nice and easy, Andy boy. I did see on one of the vids that there's a bit of a side of the river was washed away. So we'll have to see how it goes. Yeah, I think it's this bit coming up here. No, it doesn't look too bad, he says. I'm really glad I put that extra piece on the uh, on the rear mudguard. That is a bloody lifesaver. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. It's not too bad. Bloody tidy boy. <laughs> nice casual push across that. Just be careful of the slippy rocks. Extreme stream crossing. Awesome. Yep. Oh, dear. That's quite slippy coming along that section because it's off camber. Although it's boggy, there's rock underneath, so it's not as powis boggy. And uh, in previous videos, I've used ponchos, and I'm trying this uh, plastic jacket. Only a few quid from eBay. Early indications suggest that this or these will replace the poncho because they don't get the uh, flappage, which is really good. I got my little thin Peter Storm leggings on, which are really good, nice and lightweight. Just a job for keeping the shite. Oh, sorry, just a job for keeping the rubbish weather off. Excellent. So, Mr. Mark Collingwood. Hello, mate. And Alex, if you're watching this, you'll be coming up here, hopefully, when you do this. Hopefully, it'll be a lot drier as well. <sighs> oh, dear me. Now, when you, or if, you come to do the... Uh, <gasps> Ooh, arse, pardon me. If you come to do the Trous Eriri, that bit, which we've just come down from Agnolwyn, that is part of the route. You get to this point here. Now, the uh, the Cycling UK route, or whatever it is, it takes you road all the way to Lang Langrin, Langrin, and it's road all the way past Birds Rock, all the way to Langrin, up a bit of a tarmac track, and then you start dropping down into Barmouth. Now we're not going to do that, we're going to follow this road to a place called Standing Stone <laughs> Junction there, but then we're going to turn left Follow the road, it goes to a dead end and then we start heading up Up into the, uh, the mountains and then we'll pick up the original uh, Trouser Erie where you drop down into Barmouth Right then, let's get on Right, we're heading off to a tiny little place called Standing Stone I'll just pull in, let this uh flow gas lorry come through now the reason I'm coming up here is because when you do the uh, the standard trouser area I've done that section before on another ride so it's just nice to mix it up and do uh, new stuff and if you were to go straight on here that'll take you up to the back end of the pony path and Cadre Idris that's a nice ride I did that on the uh, rise Andy boy the rise right so we got to turn left year this must be standing stone <laughs> this becomes a dead end and we just start following a trackway up to the top where we might find ourselves faced with a little bit of tufty bogginess but not much fingers crossed so i'm just going to stop at the bridge and take my uh my rubber joy boy gloves on because the hands are getting a bit warm now A nice bit of mistiness there with the gorse. And we're heading on up there. Ain't rubber bands brilliant! Right, we're at the top of the track now. And we head up here. I'm not quite sure what this track's going to be like. But it's a marked byway. round and up yeah this is going to be steep right we're off up there 
it's wet, it's slippy, and it's bloody steep. So I'm going to do a bit of pushing up there. I'll see you at the top. And there's a lot of top to go, by the way. Right, we're halfway up. I'm bloody roasting. The Joy Boy gear is coming off, otherwise I'm going to pass out. <laughs> right, let's get de-kitted. Right, we're almost at the top of this, and this has been bloody hard work. Very steep, very slippy. Lots of uh, walk mod going on. And as you can hear, it's bloody windy and it's ripping across from my left to right. So I'm looking forward to getting off this. Big time. In a bit. All right, a bit of pedaling, huzzah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to starting to drop down off this. Oh dear, thing. bloody hard work. Oh, lordy. Oh. Went a little bit off piece there. Started following a rideable track and it was the wrong one. Thank heavens for memory maps. Quick check, and then you're back on track. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think it's starting to level out now, thankfully. All right, that's better. We're in the lee of the hill now. So uh, we're not getting the blasting wind. Oh, ooh, arse. It's not far now until we pick up the uh, the original Trouseri. And we start dropping down and making our way to uh, George III pub, Penmean Pool, and over the little uh, the uh, toll bridge. 30p, I'll give them 40. <laughs> you can hear the ground, it's absolutely sodden. Bloody hard going pedalling. Bloody hell, Andy boy! Jesus Christ! Ah. Oh dear me. Gotta be heading down soon. A gate, huzzah! I think that gate, that's the gate that's gonna take us down to the, uh, the main Trouseri track. Oh dear me, am I glad to see you. Oh. Proper wilderness mountain biking. Ah. Back on the old walk mode. Unrideable, boggy, tufty. But I don't mind. Because I think this will be it for the rest of the ride. In terms of major bogginess. <laughs> oh, I should be start dropping down soon. Thankfully. Right, we're starting to drop down now. So we're starting to drop down and we'll pick up the uh, the Triceri route. And then we'll chuck a right. And it's a nice descent then. Oh. Wind's cold. And it's very strong. There we go, just had a bit of sinkage. Thankfully, I didn't go in with my shooties. I was able to jump clear, so just got to carry on down there and we're on the track. Oh, get that in, Jesus! Come on, let's get that seat down. Oh. Right, let's get on, boy. Oh, come on, track, where are you? I know you're around here somewhere. That was bloody tough going coming up and over that. Ah, oh, lordy, lordy, Jack and Ori, that was bloody tough. But it's all good. Hopefully it'll be decent it's going now. Decent trackage. Here we go, I can see the signpost. Oh yes. Happy days. <laughs> Oh, bumpy tufty. Right, this is it, the main track. <laughs> My glad to see you. Right, so. Mr. Mark Collingwood, Alex, if you come and do it, you will come up from that way, from the little village of Lambrin. But it will slog up. And then we're going to pick it up now, carry on down. And we'll get some lovely viewage <laughs> down across Barmouth Bridge and Barmouth. All right, let's go.
Right, this is what we're on now. Ouch! Oh, bloody, bloody hell, Andy! A bloody stone on my bloody shin, Andy! The first one of the bloody ride! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> So, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted before by that bloody rock on my chin, shit chin, shin Andy. Yeah, so this is pretty much what it's going to be like now for the rest of the, uh, for the majority of the ride for the Trouserie, which will be nice. Goodbye bog. There'll be a few little sections of bogginess, but nothing like we've seen in the last couple of days. That's good. Right, Andy boy, decision time. I'm going to go up your boy. <laughs> All right, everybody, I've said go in there. <laughs> wow, that last section coming from Agnol, Ag Abagnol, Will, Ag Ab Abagnon Will, Ab the place begin with Abba and Gnol Will, Gnol Win. <laughs> coming up and over and that to here to pick up the uh, the regular Trouseri route. Jesus, crikey, Charlie, that was tough going. So I'm glad that's out of the way. And I sort of stopped through a bit of viewage. So as you can see, you've got the beautiful, amazing Barmouth Bridge. Barmouth, the Malvac Estuary coming down there. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> right, we're going to have a nice descent now coming down here. This is uh, called Ford, uh, Ford V. I've ridden up here. Tough going, so I'm looking forward to riding down here. Then we'll pick up a metal road and start tooling on down to the uh, Pony Path car park where we'll turn left, go cross country and pick up the Mouthach Trail. Right, in a bit peeps, enjoy the scenery. Yeah, a nice descent now called Ford V. Drop us down to a little metal road, we'll chuck a right, go to the Pony Path car park and then chuck a left and then do some nice cross country bits to the Mouthach estuary and head off to the George III and the uh, the pub, uh, the pub, the, uh, the toll bridge. Yes. Ooh, cold wind again. All right, boys, how's it going? Eh? Bloody a bit misty and cold. Not tidy, tidy. Oh, easy tiger, stay where you are. Oh, little baby lambs, stay there, stay there, stay there. Oh, they've just been born as well. Go back to your kids. Right, here we are. Follow this for a little bit now to the uh, Pony Path car park, which will be on our left. Right, so we've just come down here. On the regular Trouseri, you'll turn where that van is and follow it down to some lakes and pick up the Maldak estuary over there, then follow them in. But we're not doing that. We're doing it differently, as always. Pony path, car park, let's go. 40 miles an hour and braking for the blind summit and easing off the brakes. It's cold. <laughs> All right, boys, come on. <laughs> I should have left the camera going then because some sheep went off to the right and just actually leapt over these bloody walls. Amazing. Here we are at the uh, the Pony Path car park where we're going to turn right, turn left, sorry. There are public conveniences here if you wish to uh, take a dump. Cadreda's Pony Path up there. So this is a bridleway, 
take us to the uh, Malbec Estuary. My favourite place in the whole wide world, this area. Absolutely love it. I'll go down here. This is steep and skiddy, and I am not going to risk it. So yeah, skiddy. I've just gone arse over to it. Bloody walking down here. Alright, what's it like now, Andy boy? Boggy. <laughs> Ooh, gloopy. Oh, ooh, oh it's right, nice and steady. This grass has been nibbled so tight by the sheep. Ooh. Right, we've got to go down there. Fuck, Jesus, that wind. Right, we've got to get down there. I have done this section before from the pony path to where we're heading off to at the Maldek Estuary. I don't remember it being this bad. I think that's because the rain and all the water and all the bogginess makes things shite. We've got us an extreme river crossing on foot. Awesome! Yep. Slippy rocks. Yeah. Wash the wheels. So yeah, I am. I should be able to write a book about opening gates in Wales, but I've just got worse. I think it's because you're so tired and the things are so cold and boggy, it just makes it very difficult. Right, we're off up there. Right, it's going to drop through the farm, pick up a little bit of road, and the Maldek Estuary is just over there. A little bit more cross country just to get to the estuary. Oh, my feet are cold and wet. Bada da! Right, have a Gwynant farm, we go straight on and pick up the Maldak history. Straight on and then a left. It's nice to be out of the wind, it's getting a bit cold in those exposed areas. I doubt, it, I doubt if uh, that'll be the last of it though. Alright, the Maldak trail. Just up here, Andy boy. We'll chuck her right. When we get to the Georgia third, I'll just uh, take five, have a cup of tea, adjust my kit. And here we are. I love this place. My favourite area of Wales. Just heading down to Barmouth. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's crack on. We'll get to George the Third. Cup of tea. Right, this is us approaching the George the Third pub now and the uh, the Penmean Pool toll bridge. Rain's coming down proper now, so I'm gonna have a cup of tea, get my stuff sorted out, and put me uh, put me jacket on. Quick photo call at the uh, signals at the uh, George III. Highly recommended coming here, get a, get a room with an estuary review and you're looking out at that, it's bloody gorgeous. Right, we're gonna go over the toll bridge and we're heading up the valley there. 
rain stopped but I'm all suited and booted but I reckon we're gonna get some more all right let's go all right let's come pay the toll I'll give you 40, keep the change and buy yourself some sweets. Oh, that's just me <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Over we go. So that's looking down to Dalgefly. That's looking up to Barmouth. And we're going up the, uh, up the valley there. I'll keep the uh, the kit on because it's quite cold actually, that wind. And I don't like being cold. Bloody hell, that wind is strong coming down the estuary valley. Christ! Looking forward to getting in the other valley, away from the wind. 